Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about for loops in Hexo. More specifically, we're going to look at a for each loop, and we're going to see how a for each loop can help us to display all of the posts on our website. So I'm here at this index.ejs file, and this is the layout that's used by the homepage of my website, right? So I'm here on the homepage, and it's using this layout. I also have two blog posts. I have A and I have a B post, right? These are just two example posts that we're gonna use. Now, on the homepage of my website, imagine that I wanted to display to the user all of the blog posts that I had in my post folder, right? I wanted to show the user all the blog posts on the site. Well, that's actually something that would be good to do on the homepage. And so we can actually use a for each loop in order to do that. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. We're just gonna come down here and we'll start writing out our for each loop. So it's gonna be less than greater than sign, two, parent, or two um, percent signs, and then we're just gonna type out site.posts.for each. And then I wanna type a uh, opening parentheses, and I only wanna type this open parentheses, don't close it. Inside of this for each, I'm gonna type function, and I'm gonna do an open and close parentheses, and then I'm gonna type an open curly bracket only. It's very important that you structure this exactly as I have it here. So what this is saying is, um, for all of the posts on the website, I want to perform a specific function. And we can pass into this function a variable, I'm just gonna call it post, and this variable post will represent the individual post that's getting iterated through uh, while we go through this for each loop. And so this post will represent the post that Hexo is currently looking at inside of this loop. To finish off the for loop, you just wanna come down and we're basically just gonna end it off. So I'm gonna end this um, curly bracket and I'm gonna end this parentheses. So, this curly bracket corresponds to this one up here, and this parentheses corresponds to this one up here. Now, inside of this for each loop, I can type some code, and what I wanna do is print out all of the posts on the website, right? That's a probably be a pretty good thing to do. So I can do that like this. I can just type out the less than, greater than with the percent signs, and you need this hyphen here as well. And I wanna access the page title, so I can, or the post title, so I can type post.title. And once again, this post variable up here, this, that represents the post that's currently being iterated through. And so this is gonna change as we go through this for loop, right? <clears throat> now over on my browser, what should happen here is A and B should pop up, right? Because those are the two posts on our website. And they do, so I could also put like, a break sign here just to make it more obvious. So it's listing out all of the pages on our website. So that kind of makes sense. Um, but in addition to just accessing the title, you can also get a little bit fancier here. So uh, I could create, for example, like a navigation list. So I can make a list item and a link inside of it. And inside of this link will put the uh, title of the website or the title of the post and then we can put the path of the post right there. So now instead of just displaying the name, it's actually gonna link to the post on our website. And you'll see that these are both uh, links. So when I click on A, it's gonna bring me to the A page. When I click on B, it'll bring me to the B page. So essentially what I've done is I've created like a table of contents for my website. Inside of this for each loop, you could also create like a navigation card. If you're familiar with the default theme for Hexo, you'll know that it has like navigation cards on the homepage. You could easily do that, right? Instead of a list item, you could have like a div and it would have the title and display some of, some of the content from within the post. But the point is that this for each loop is gonna allow us to loop through the different entities of our site. So I could, instead of saying posts, I could also say like pages, um, or you could say tags, if you wanted to access all the tags, you could say uh, categories, and it's, it's gonna do the same thing. It's just gonna loop through all of those entities, and then you can access their individual variables um, 
by referencing the variable that you pass into this function. So that's a basic overview of for loops. I hope you learned something. And honestly, you're definitely gonna use something like this if you're thinking about making a theme because it's super useful. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.